This video is an introduction to the idea of packages in R. Packages are the main way that we share reusable code in R, and they're typically a combination of certainly code, but also data sometimes, and documentation to tell us how to use the code uh, or how to engage with the data. R has a rich ecosystem of packages for data manipulation and analysis, which is one of the reasons it's popular in biology and one of the reasons we're using it in this course. To download and install a new package, uh, we use a command called install.packages. Now we only need to install a package once. We don't need to install it over and over again. And so instead of installing packages uh, up here in the text editor, I typically install them using the console. And so I'll go down to the console and type the function install.packages. We can see that our studio is already auto-completing it for me, and so I can just click here if I want to, or press tab. And then I need to give it the name of the package that we want to install in quotation marks. And in this case, we're going to install the package dplyr, uh, which is one of the most popular and powerful packages for doing data manipulation in R. And if so, we, if we do this and then press enter, and then wait patiently, we'll see that uh, the package is being installed now. It's telling us where it's being installed to. And then it's downloading not only the package itself, but all of the other packages uh, that this package depends on, and then installing them. And so now dplyr has been installed. Once we've installed a package, it's still not available yet for doing analysis with. And the reason for that is that different packages may have functions that have the same names, and so we don't want to have to worry about all of the packages we've installed every time we write a piece of code. And so the way that we tell R that we want to use a particular package and the functions and the data that are in it in some code that we're writing is using the library function. And so at the top of our code, before we write anything else, we type uh, the word, the function name library, followed by parentheses, and then the name of the package that we want to load uh, in quotes. And so uh, here again, it's dplyr. And then we run this code. And that will load the package and all of its functions into R uh, where they can be used. And as I mentioned a minute ago, sometimes packages have functions that have the same name as other packages. And when we load a package, we'll actually get some information on that. And in particular, what we see here is that dplyr is masking or it's replacing the functions with the name filter and lag that are loaded by default with its own versions, and also uh, these functions as well. And we'll see examples a little later in the course where this uh, namespace overwriting becomes important and we really need to keep track of it, uh, but for now we can just ignore this uh, and start using dplyr, which we'll do in the next lesson. So that's the idea behind packages. We install them once using the install.packages function, uh, which I typically run down here in the console. But we then load the functions every time we want to use them. So at the top of every R script we write, we'll have a series of lines that say library, and then the name of the package that we want to use. Uh, in quotes, and that will load it so that we can use it in our code.